In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to create an arrow based pattern or abstract pattern design. Now, the arrow shapes are from graphicextras.com. You can find the uh, arrow shapes on the website here. It's just arrows.htm, graphicextras.com. There's also many tutorials and videos and information about uh, brushes and shapes as well for Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS5 but it could be for CS6, etc. Right, just go into the shape tool, first step, and just select that. And I'm gonna use the fill option. So along the control bar, you'll see a selection. You could use shape layer, path, whatever. I'm gonna use fill pixels. And I've actually just displayed the swatches palette here. So you've got a range of different colors. Go on to actually create an abstract background that uses multiple different colors so obviously it's much easier than just going over to the color palette all the time just select and kind of move it around then change the color so i'm just going to select from the swatches of course you could set up a whole heap of swatches using various selections of colors here that, uh, or you could define your own swatches right now over to and there's a vast selection here, but there's thousands of other designs available in the Arrows collection. So you don't have to use, obviously, these ones. You can uh, also have free samples as well of Arrow designs and shapes on the site. Right. Just going to drag that design there. Now, I'm not gonna actually going to go beyond the actual size of the document, which is actually 900 by 900. So I'm just going to create it that size. And just going to... Right, obviously I've got this bit of writing in here, obviously the pattern, you wouldn't normally put a pattern with uh, text like that, but uh, I'm just going to keep it there obviously, um, and I'm just going to apply, I think, again carefully keeping within the, the actual bounds of the document, and I'm just going to quickly do that, and I'm going to keep changing the colour, yeah. Now, of course, I could use different arrow designs as well. I mean, there's a selection of other arrow designs. I'm actually sticking to ones that are outline based instead of uh, just find those just look nice for more abstract designs. Right, I'm just going to finish off there. Now, go to filter, other, offset, and I'm just going to enter the size of the document but by half. So. 900 is 450 and 450 now of course if you had um, another document that's a thousand by thousand you would use 500 instead at that point now it's also wrap around click OK now I can just go to this with the same shape I'm just going to select another color I'm just going to go for red I'm just going to fill that Go over there, just keep entering, selecting different colours. Again, avoiding the, the seams. So as long as you avoid the seams, you can actually create a pattern design. Now this can be applied to obviously any size of document. So uh, as long as you avoid going over the edges. Which is not always easy, but uh, try and control myself from going too big to go over the edge. Right. Now, since I've done that, I could, of course, do more offsets and just keep applying. I can also rotate it as well. So you can actually, at this point, go to image rotation, say 90, so you can actually rotate it. Of course, the shape will still be going in the same direction, so you can quite more interesting different designs. I keep going over to the colour palette. I don't mean to go over the colour palette. I'm using the swatches, but I keep going over to the colour without thinking. Right, so I've created them. We we'll obviously could keep rotating that if I wish. Now I can go to the edit menu and define pattern and then I can say click OK. Now I can go to the layer, new fill layer, pattern and click OK and can set to say 25. So you create very, you know, obviously not brilliant pattern but it's certainly a pattern that can be applied to any size of document. Obviously that can be set to uh, maybe 200%, but okay, it probably degrade a bit at that point. But uh, so you click OK. But uh, you don't have to, of course, create a pattern. You can just create a huge document, say 300, 3000 by 3000, and then create 
uh, sort of abstract designs using these various arrow shapes. I say arrow shapes from the graphic extras, but you of course can use any other shapes or brushes on the web to create abstract designs using different color color schemes as well. Of course, at this point, you could also modify the colors. Again, would not actually damage the uh, the pattern aspect of uh, this design.